don't dilly dally. Yes, just as I hoped. There she is. There it is. And he's off. It seems the imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. I do dare you to prove it! Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world, and each by each, you'll discover how to open me! Could it be, milady, the weaver of time, mother of History, author of all that has ever been. Indeed, Sir Imp. As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? A stone. So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so... contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones. Your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Source Hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say, but I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. Starstone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink. Starstone restores! Yes, though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, 
the void will consume us all. Indeed you must, though I may not yet understand why. It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Why, of course, that's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see, collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. That shall never be, milady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the Void. Please, our most mysterious guest, are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? So, what do you think, Source Hunter? Come, come! I've got something for you if you're up to the challenge. Not but a moment ago, we were hunting Source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? So, what do you think, Source Hunter? We can't deny our reaction to Starstone. There must be something to all of this, mad as it may seem. How improbable anything is possible. If the Weaver tells the truth, we have some serious work ahead of us. Do tell. So, what do you think, Source Hunter? How welcome you are upon this realm, our most honored guest. I hope you begin to find this place more familiar than it may yet seem. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you. Ask and I shall answer, if I can. I am the weaver of time, as I have told you. Though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb to be. I am but what I am. And that is task. It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. Am I the beginning? And am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. Come, come! I got Alas, something for you! The answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry. As yet. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. 
I believe that star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only. No. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection, a blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness, perchance the blemish may be undone, and time can be redeemed. Perhaps you can redeem time, because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here, at the end of time, and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stone. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. These Starstones, please... Seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the star stones will tell us. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. I reside in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. A thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. <laughs> oh, Hunter. I have no need for company. Like I have no need for air, or appetite, or affection. All I need, and all I am, is time. And time is running out, unless you remedy its decline. And yet, I do enjoy your companionship. For you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. gaze and the set of your brow suggest to me that you've not given up on our dear old Rivalon, not just yet. No, with you searching out Starstone, I believe we'll mend the tapestry in no time. We'll find out just who you are and how exactly to send the void back to wherever it came from. But you'll need a way to travel between Rivalon and this homestead, won't you? Who wouldn't want to see what fantastic changes your search will yield? And who knows what the Weaver might discover about you? Luckily, the power of portals is known to you, so I'll let you in on the little secret of how to transport back and forth from the end of time. Just, you know, don't go sharing it around. Never know who we can trust these days. Off you go, then. You've Starstone to find, and I've a tapestry to examine. Surely there must be some clue here as to how on earth you're related to the end of time. Cross my heart, hope to fade in the void, I honestly don't know. But ask her. If she claims it is so, perhaps she knows why. Like the imp said to the ballista operator, shoot! Wouldn't it just... 
would that I had a Starstone sightseeing guide, but alas, such a booklet does not exist. Just like yourselves, Starstones are curiously absent from history, both in my writings and on the tapestry of time. From what I can gather, though, they were once cherished by devious sorcerers whose reign ended long ago. The stones are therefore most likely to be found in the ancient places of this world. Bruins, caves, the lairs of long-forgotten evils. Those are the dens you should frequent. Two more pieces of advice. Don't go unarmed and consult with my agent. Neither do I. But the mere fact that activated Starstone has set the Weaver of Time weaving again more than implies that it and the Void Dragon are natural enemies. This in turn more than implies that you are the Void's natural enemy, for it is you who is setting new events in motion. You who is handing the Weaver new threads. And that which she is weaving is more than an ornament to decorate the shelter plane. It is both history and future history. It is all of time. We may not understand the how yet, but our aim is clear. We shall save creation from the grip of the void. Now, isn't that a lovely mission? I don't know if I'm more than those things per se, but having been given a divine mission does have its perks. Old age can't touch me, that's one. Immortality is mine as long as no one skewers me with a sword, and even then I'll be back in a jiffy. But of course I have a price to pay for something that is priceless. It is my duty to record all of history, and an arduous task that is. Not to mention how much stress that void out there is causing me. The end of time. I'll be out of a job. So gather those star stones so that we may know the history that was lost. No, so that we must not repeat what leads us to this dangerous precipice, but do better and close the dark eye of the void forever. Lonesome observing the frontier of creation, surfing the vibrant tide of the eons, always approaching yet never reaching shore. Lonesome being privy to all that has been and all that is. Well, yes, actually. I don't mean to complain, but one certainly doesn't mind a bit of company now and then. Perhaps you can imagine the profound pleasure it is to have made the weaver's acquaintance after all these years. I can hardly wait to pick her brain about the great battle of the sons of Sigurd. The last Rivalonian who remembers it died more than 7,000 years ago. Before you go, Source Hunter, a final word. Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my eyes and ears upon your world. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time. I need hardly remind you is of the essence.